Hi, I'm Jennifer and this is Kate and today we have baby bibs. Why? Well, March 25th is the Feast of the Annunciation and that is when the angel Gabriel appeared to the Blessed Mother and told her that she was going to have a baby. So the Feast of the Annunciation is a great time to spiritually adopt an unborn baby. And of course the babies need the bibs and the burp cloths. So today we're going to show you how we make these as well as how easy it is to spiritually adopt a baby. And if you like the idea of doing something for the unborn with your kids but sewing is not really your thing, we'll also show you how to make this cute and easy craft. Okay, so Gabriel's announcement to Mary, the Annunciation, is pretty much a birth announcement. Mary, nine months from today, roughly, you will have a baby boy. So nine months from March 25th, which you can probably guess is December 25th or Christmas. So March 25th is a great time to spiritually adopt a baby because when Christmas rolls around, you'll be able to celebrate two births, the birth of Jesus and then the birth of your adopted baby. Twins! <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> but anyway, so you might wonder, what is spiritual adoption and how do you do it? So it's very easy. The whole concept comes to us from Archbishop Fulton Sheen. So back in 1973, when the Supreme Court legalized abortion, Fulton Sheen wrote a prayer for us to remind us that we are not powerless against our anti-life culture. So it's a very short and powerful prayer that goes like this. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, I love you very much. I beg you to spare the life of the unborn baby I have spiritually adopted whose life is in danger of abortion. So we'll have a copy of that prayer down in the description box for you. So to spiritually adopt a baby, it's very easy. You just decide, would I like to have a baby boy or a baby girl? And you pick out a name for your baby. And then every day for the next nine months, you say the spiritual adoption prayer for the protection and health and the life of that baby. And even though we might not ever see that baby or know anything about that baby in this life, Fulton Sheen assures us that we will know and meet that baby in the next life. So there are a lot of different websites where you can print out a spiritual adoption form to put up on your fridge and remind you to pray. The one we have here is from Holy Heroes. They are a great place to start. They have the form you can print off and they have an entire program where you and your kids can watch the development of your baby over the next nine months. We also like the website from St. Joseph's Church in Kansas, and they have a lot of really beautiful images of Mary. If you scroll down to the bottom of the page, you'll find all the different links. We really love these beautiful pictures. You can print them out. You can put the spiritual adoption prayer on the back. And at that website, you can also track the baby's development too. So we'll link their website down below, and we'll also link Holy Heroes for you. So a lot of people know about spiritual adoption, but you can also adopt an abortion clinic. You can pray for the conversion of the staff and for the babies in danger there and for their parents. And Father Frank Pavone wrote a beautiful prayer just for this purpose, and I'll have it linked below. And there's even a line in the prayer where you can write in the name of your local abortion facility. So that's another great way that you can help these babies and their parents and save some lives. All right, so now we're going to move into our craft projects for today. In our town, we have a wonderful organization called Birthright that we sew for. They are a crisis pregnancy center. Mothers in need can come there. They'll provide medical care, counseling, baby equipment, baby clothes, all kinds of things for babies, including the bibs and the burp pads. So today we're going to show you how to make the bibs out of just scraps of fabric. And again, if sewing's not really your thing, we'll also show you how to make this cute craft project. All right, so we're going to start with the craft, this one. It's actually a refrigerator magnet. Um, so you just have the baby socks clipped onto a clothespin, which has the spiritual adoption prayer on it. And then there's a magnet on the back to put it up on your fridge. So we're going to show you how to make this one now. All right, so we're gonna start with the refrigerator magnet craft. This one's really simple to do. All you need is the prayer. This is from sacredhearthouston.org and we'll have it linked in the description box for you. It's a little bit different than the one we talked about earlier, but they both do the same job. So you wanna cut that out for however many magnets you're making and then decide whether you want a boy or a girl. So I have pink cardstock here for a girl and then you just wanna glue the prayer onto the cardstock. 
So while that is drying, you can go ahead and move it off to the side and then get your clothespin and your magnet. And you want to glue the magnet onto one side of the clothespin. I would also say that you probably need a more substantial magnet because the socks can weigh down a weaker one and it won't stay up. So once the prayer and the magnet are dry, you want to glue the prayer onto the opposite side of the clothespin than the magnet. So when that's all dry and done, you can take the top and clip it onto the pair of socks and you have the craft. And so after the nine months are done, if you're starting on the March 25th and that'll be Christmas, you can even take the socks and donate them to a local birth center and it's a great way to remind you to pray and then the socks can go to a good home. So now we want to show you how to make these really cute scrappy baby bibs. They're not hard and I will link the pattern below that we're using. My pattern is from Jennifer Casa and it's not a free pattern, it's in her Etsy shop, but we'll also link similar patterns that are free down below. You can make baby bibs in any size. I make them in large and small. I'm going to show you the small one today and you can use fabric scraps. If you don't have fabric scraps, you can just ask around in your neighborhood. I'm sure there is someone there who would be glad to have scraps taken off your hands. So we make these and we just donate them to Birthright and we want to show you how to do it. So come along and see. Okay, for this video, you need your fabric scraps. You probably want four or five different patterns. You want your baby bib. You can tell mine's pretty well worn. I've used it a lot. Some fabric for the backing and then some low pile cotton batting. Okay, then you're going to lay all your strips out. So I am going to arrange them now in a pattern that I like. So I like the look of that. I'm going to make sure my pattern will fit on it because when I sew it, it's going to all shrink down a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and sew these. All right, here it is. I've ironed it after sewing. Here is the back. I used a 1 4th seam allowance. And so now I'm going to just go ahead and check to make sure that my pattern piece still fits on what I've sewn together. And it does. So I'm going to set that aside. Now I'll go ahead and take the backing fabric and cut out a piece of that fabric for the back. So there you have the backing. I'm going to do the same thing with the quilt batting that I have. I'm just going to cut out one piece for the inside of the bib. There you go. Now I'm going to cut out the top of the bib. I folded it in half and I made sure I put the fold line on the fold of the fabric and I'll just go ahead and cut it out. Now I'm going to put all the layers together. I have my top down, right side up, and then I'm going to put my backing on, so it's the right sides together, which sounds a little weird, but it works. And then you put the quilt batting on top. So you have three layers, and then you're going to sew it all around. So I've sewn all the way around the bib. That's what it looks like on the back. I used a 1 4th inch seam allowance and now I'm going to turn it all inside out and flatten it out. Now I've ironed it front and back and then I'm going to go ahead and give it a little quilting. I've left the top opened. I will sew stitch in the ditch here and around the sides to give it a quilted look. Now it's time to put the tie on the top and I'm using a two inch piece of fabric to do that. I will fold it in half and iron it and then fold it in half again to make that nice skinny tie. But I'm not going to go into a whole lot of detail with this because in the bib pattern that I'm using, the one that I bought from Etsy from Jennifer Casa, she gives a lot of nice pictures, a lot of nice detail, and so you don't have to worry about having to learn it from me, which is a good thing. And there you have it. There is the finished baby bib. And this is what it looks like on the back. And just to give you an idea of what other designs are possible, here are some other ones that we have made. These are not completed bibs. These are just bibs that we are working on. 
We also like to make holiday sets to donate around the holiday time. So this is one that we made for next fall. And these will be for next Christmas. So you can see you can have a lot of fun with this pattern and just make all kinds of really super cute baby bibs. All right, those are the two craft projects we wanted to share with you today. And if you like that type of video and you would like to learn how to make the burp cloth also, the scrappy version, we'd be glad to show you in a different video. Just leave us a comment down below. But the main thing is that we hope that you will pray for the unborn babies and spiritually adopt one and pray for the end of abortion. So we hope you have a blessed feast at the Annunciation. We hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you next time. Bye.